It was not today. Oh, yeah. And, you can uh, set it up with the ult, and then Axe just gets in position and yeah. calls the whole team Ooh, there yeah. for a little, like, two minutes. <clears throat> but Poshka is only level one. Puppy, though. And he's, he's dead. Yeah, there's the boulder up top. He does get off oh, the Zerker's no, call. Not. Nice Boba. Yeah, they're gonna actually get a counter kill on Maposhka. If High Lie Die rotates up, and it's Bulber getting the first blood. Very nice turnaround. The Siege, seven minutes, only one kill. It's been a quiet game as Terrorblade now moves into the jungle. And we'll see a smoke rotation mid. Earthshaker starts it up onto Envy. They kick him back, but he's still pretty darn tanky. Level six on the DK. Could turn into a breathe fire, but it's just not gonna matter. It's soon gonna be a one on five scenario. So just make a little bit of space and we'll end up falling to the wrath of the Razor. We can get away with this greedier offlane pick because he's not going to be hard zoned out by two supports. Could have been a good read. Here we go. Puppy goes in, misses the Berserker's call, but Secret have the superior numbers. Scandal rotating into the back line, but Ramsey gets decapitated. No sunder for him. Arteezy loses some damage, but he will get... Uh, Prediction. Seven. We wrong. <laughs> Arteezy. Going to get that player with the highest net worth at that 10 minutes. Oh, Scandal, boy. Oh, he's dead. Oh, beautiful Fissure. Arteezy jumps over it. Scandal's throwing a lot of damage here. Arteezy needs to be a little bit careful, but now the Arctic Burn comes in. They should have the damage to bring oh, him down. They do, just barely. Arteezy stunned up. Cold Embrace is there to pick him right back up. Now this fight continues with Secret on the aggressive. Gonna be a nice Fissure to help break things up. Envy getting kind of low, but he will stand his ground. Pops the wand. Breathe fire onto King R. Gets stunned, and now Ramsey's joins the party from the high ground. Splinter Blast from Pylai Dai secures the kill on Venge. And I was like, I, I need to go up, guys, but I can't. Oh, he's going up. Uh oh. Uh, Arteezy pounces away. He's going to lose some damage here, but that's all right. Silence now by Maposhka. Oh, oh my oh. beautiful winner's right. curse. That keeps Arteezy alive. Puppy dies on the back line. They're going to lose the Dark Seer also. The winner's curse, not enough. And the X. Very nicely done by Maposhka. I can't believe you juke that. Yeah. Oh, not juking this one. Trying to TP out. The Berserker's call catches him. That's a slam dunk for Puppy on the Axe. Five to three, secret. They know exactly what's going on, who's farming what. They are ready to move into enemy territory and fight if they get a good opportunity. And they're just not getting any map control for Empire. That's my biggest worry right now. And with all this extra gold coming in from, from the towers, I mean, look at Boba now. He's finally oh got... God. Look at Puppy, oh. full <laughs> man mode. Afterlife says, okay, slam dunk, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, is he gonna, oh, oh, oh. Oh uh, my uh, god, dude. Uh, uh, that is uh, the dream. Uh. Okay, put the extra ward down here. And uh. he's got a haste ring in the bottle. Are they going on Afterlife? They sure are. Arteezy runs in as they set up with a stun. Nice pick on the Earthshaker. The rest of Empire grouped up. Two of them, so. Yeah. That was a little bit of a misplay maybe from Secret, but they're still going to get this mid tower. Yeah, it's going down no matter what. Glyph's already been used. and do a little bit of time left on this Elder Dragon form. Gets initiated on by Maposhka, but another great winner's curse on the Scandal. Arteezy into fray. There's the setup from Puppy right into the back wall. Secret finally getting their Wombo combo. Oh, they get two, and now King R going to be in a lot of trouble. Darkseer will fall thanks to the Dunk of Afterlife. It does soften him up. It's a one for two. Not quite as good for Secret as it first seemed. But they're good for them. They have the BKB also completed on the Razor, as you we were talking about, that this scandal is going to be a monster in these team fights. So they, they're going to have a very hard time of locking. Support Vengeful Spirit, and it was a 4v5. Secret did not have their Dark Seer for a lot of that. Bulba was sort of off to the side. No, I guess he did pop his Guardian Greaves. Okay, he just moved off to the side with the rest of the team. Meanwhile, Envy may be left behind. Puppy and Arteezy, though, they catch him on the backside. Maposhka gets dunked after Afterlife gets brought down. Scandal tries to TP out, and he will make it. And after all that, it is a threat to these team fights, but still, Aegis, um, oh, Aegis just expired. Yep. Uh oh, Puppy finds King R, the Vengeful Spirit again. Target that gets initiated on. Envy goes scooting on in. There's the stun, and King R will fall to the power of the axe. Back to back deaths on him. The mobility factor for secrets to just disengage, reengage is the biggest thing. Whereas Empire, they don't have lockdown. Yeah. That they are just desperate for some. Oh, mid there. Oh, here we go. Dunk on the Puppy. There will be some follow up. It is the Shiva's guard on Razor, as you mentioned. It'll help secure that kill. I like how. In and then uh, use your enchant totem. All right, Empire. Oh, Are they gonna find Envy stunned up? He's got some friends inbound, but I don't think they'll be able to save him. They'll even use the magnetize here, and that's another pick off for Empire, clawing their way back into this game. Could have had that BKB TP. Empire from behind, Arteezy 
lingering in the mid lane. There is a dire observer, or pardon me, sentry ward down. Axe goes cruising on in. They grab Maposhka straight away. Arteezy goes flying in on the backside. It's a very scattered fight. Secret starting it off pretty well. Afterlife drops the dunk, but it doesn't save the Earth Spirit. Eternal Envy taking a lot of damage. The snowballs from Ramsey starting oh, to yeah, add up, but he gets surged. He'll be okay. Arteezy with the BKB on. He jumps in. It's a bold initiation. It's going to cost him his life. It's a one for one. Arteezy? That was a really awkward play from Arteezy, and a swap onto Pylai Die makes it a one for two. Empire, they're going to beeline it straight to the Roshan, like up this way, and they started the fight over here. That's where Puppy Arteezy got the call. Was over Arteezy there. went yep. all the way in this way. Exactly. It was it was a four plus one, and it did not bode well for Secret. I mean, Arteezy's pretty six thousand gold. Ramsey's getting low. He does have a Sunder. Is he going to be able to use it? Look how fast Arteezy dies. He's pushed back already. Now the tier three tower goes down. They've already glyphed. Ramsey's will just go ahead and use it on Maposhka to get healed up. Scandal trying to do what he can from the low ground. This is a free lane of barracks for happened. Empire. What just happened? They just got punched in the face. Uh, uh, are they what, what? literally like game winning double, double damage rune right there? <laughs> Incredible. Well, now they have to they have to go for secret. I mean, the game's not over yet, but that is a huge burst of momentum for Empire. Look at that gold graph. It's going to update even more, and I think this game's a break even at this point. All about execution. Look for some secret. And Are they going to find a catch here? Envy opens with a dunk. Oh my, this Dragon Knight in a world of hurt. Secret nowhere nearby. They can't save their DK. He does have a buyback. But Empire in a really great position all of a sudden. They're feeling confident. This is without an Aegis, without anything. They're just going to go right towards the high ground and try and force this buyback. No glyph available for Secret, so they are going to have to make a decision fast here. Look how fast the tower dies, Alan. My god. How do you stop this? You don't. Terrorblade is just insane. Puppy goes in, he gets silenced straight away. Now Arteezy initiates under Ramsey's back wall. Ramsey's getting low, but he's got the Sunder. Can he get it off? It's a beautiful winner's curse on the scandal. It's not going to be enough to secure the kill, but Bulba, he's the victim of the Sunder. Now he's going to be relegated back towards the well. Arteezy gets stunned up, forced to back. He'll survive, but the Baron's not going to be so lucky. Melee have already fallen. Who cares about the range? King R caught by the Berserker's call as the rest of the fight breaks out up top. Envy outside of the base trying to finish off Ramsey's Scandal getting low and well as well. Ramsey's on the run. 20 seconds till Thunder comes back up. He gets back, back. Scandal gets dunked. Ramsey's on the run. I don't think he's going to be able to live through this one. Only 100 HP as Envy gets some sweet, sweet vengeance with his Hurricane Pike. Going to catch the Terrorblade is if Eternal Envy goes on him. Uh oh, Arteezy. Oh. He's going to break the smoke. Maposhka blinks back. Echo Slam to get it started, but Arteezy able to jump away. Envy goes cruising on in. Everyone's still pretty healthy. BKB popped by Scandal as well as Arteezy. There's the Winter's Curse. It's on to Scandal. It's a little bit lackluster. Puppy gets brought down by Ramses. He's still hanging on to that Sunder. Back wall from Bulba just tickled. Ramsey's going to kill his own illusion here as now Scandal gets stunned up. The Shadow Dance from Arteezy keeping him safe under the guise of uh, invisibility. Oh, oh the Vengeful Spirit. Oh, Ramsey's. He's going to be able to bring him down. Dark Seer falls. There are some buybacks still available for Secret, but this is Empire's fight. They've only lost their support venge as they start to disengage. Bulba dies back. Buys yep. back. Buys back, yeah. He's Di dies back yet? No. He did not die back yet. So not a game-ending play here for Empire. Kind of a sloppy fight, but potentially. Yeah, they know exactly what's going on here. Elder Dragon form, close to expiration now. Only oh, left. ARTZ found him, but he's got the yield to force that high ground. No! Oh, Afterlife, that's a dieback on him. That's actually huge. Secret, have a window here. BKB's being popped on both sides of the coin. Arteezy's is on cooldown. Envy's still active, but now expires. Scandal used his as well. Secret on the back foot. They'll start to retreat. Oh, Terrorblade. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Oh, God. He's in the base. He's going for the rat play. Here we go. Thanks for the courier. Whip has been used. It's a free courier kill. Puppy comes back. What's the play here, Ramses? He does have a buyback available. Don't forget, he's doing a lot of damage in these towers. He just kills buildings so fast. Secret having trouble dealing with this. He does have a Sunder available. Berserker Stall comes out. Can he get the Sunder off? No, the slam dunk is there. And Pylai dies, secures the kill. It was a noble effort from the Terrorblade, but he gets... Empire looks like they're just going to let it go. And Secret will be rewarded with Aegis Cheese. Look at this graph, man. Secret was so far ahead, and now things are dead even. Net worth doesn't matter. Very unlucky. Man, Arteezy. The hero or the uh -oh. zero? Uh-oh. He's, 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 he's backing out.
It's Bruin. We're going to take a look at Vision here. Dyer completely blind. Radiant. They have the intel. They've got a ward on the high ground. They know exactly where Empire are. This could be a great opening for them to try to initiate, but no, it's Arteezy that gets initiated on. He pops the DKB straight away after the swap. Afterlife. Afterlife. Isolated by Eternal Envy. Huge plays over Scandal. there. Now Scandal. Caught by the Winner's Curse. They're going to bring him down. Ramsey just killing his own teammates. Back wall from Bulba. Sets it up on two. This is Secret's fight to take. Buy back from the oh. Ranger. Now the Echo Slam does big damage, but it's not enough to find kills. Envy put inside of the cold embrace. He'll survive for now. Ramsey's getting low. The Thunder's not going to be enough. Secret with all their heroes still alive except for Bulba. Now they're going to lose Arteezy. Empire had to use only one buyback for that to happen, but Puppy gets the chop onto the Earth Shaker. It's a five for two overall. Empire, Fender, he will push him back at least for now, but even forcing out the glyph. Is a minor victory for Secret at this stage. Uh, stage. Scandal doing everything he can as NB takes out that top tier three tower. Exposed Barracks now going to start getting chipped, in, uh, chipped away at. Vengeful Spirit has respawned. Empire are going to stay here in time. Slark's still dead for three seconds. They are going to start to move towards the pit. Roche actually falling slower than I thought it would. Our Secret going to be able to contest. BKB gets popped by Ball, but he's pulled two up to the high ground. Ramsey's caught by the wall. Yeah, like dead. Oh, Slark gets him on the backside. We're still looking at Rose. He's still standing. Empire completely committed to this. It will go down to the Dire. Terrible. He's the one to pick up the Aegis, but it could cost Ramsey's everything. Still hanging on to that Thunder. Oh, secret. This is bold. Maybe too bold. Envy caught by the Cold Embrace. He'll survive for now. Empire with all five alive after the buyback on the Earthshaker. They'll get the kill on S, though. This Magnetize doing so much oh. work. Envy trying to split one way. Pylai dying, Bulba going the other. They are going to go on to Envy. He turns, brings down the Vengeful Spirit before he falls. That oh, armor, wait, wait. we call it a throwaway on but he's toggling. Oh my what? god. Secret on the back foot now. Trying to retreat. There's the dunk from Afterlife. Doesn't do a hell of a lot. A buyback's already been used by the, uh, the puppy. This guy right here. There, there it is. He pops the Ghost Scepter. He needs to live here. I can't believe Eternal Envy survived through all that. Armlet toggling, dude. That was some sick, nasty armlet toggling. Away. Afterlife pops back. Oh my god, Arteezy, he's getting low, he's getting forced stabbed all around, he's completely isolated outside of the base, he gets flipped by the Fissure Empire, trying to isolate him, but Bulba, he's nearby with another great back, now Puppy reinitiates, they go in onto Ramses, remember, he's still got the Aegis of the Immortal, even if they kill him once, he's coming right back, Puppy using this Ghost Scepter so well, Scandal into DP falls to the Dark Seer, Ramses now taking right clicks to the back from the Slark, that's the Aegis of the Immortal, it'll be down for Poshka, low on HP, trying to retreat, Puppy somehow still alive, oh my god, Ramsey's now. Can he do this? It's been one long, drawn-out fight. They're gonna try to catch Afterlife Puppy. Puppy. On X, as well as, you know, the Shadow uh, shadow Dance from Slark. So I was like, oh my goodness, Satanic Counter. Here we go, top lane of Barracks getting cleaned up. No glyph available for Empire. They've already lost the range, soon to be melee. Secret already starting to rotate around towards the mid lane. Now it's one set of Barracks apiece. Arteezy in the front lines, BKB at the ready. Envy in Elder Dragon form at about half duration. They'll be able to see the tier 3 tower. Ramses does. He pops the BKB, gets a Lotus Orb buff, and he will get pushed back to safety. Now the dunk comes out from Afterlife. Big damage on the Puppy, but Cold Embrace is there. Eternal Envy on the back foot, still alive, but it's Bulba with the plays. Four hero back wall. Follow up from Pylai Die. The winner's curse will be enough to bring down the Earth Spear, but he's got a buyback straight into the game. Easy. It's still a 5v5. RTZ does pounce back to safety. Ramses gets off. It's a good try. It's the kind he, of stuff they need to it's do. It's like half a second from getting that, that ES stun, chain yep. stun afterwards, too, which would have probably dealt at least another thousand damage during that window. Ranged barracks. Fall in the mid lane. Just melee standing. Secret continuing to slow siege this, feeling fairly comfortable right now. They are giving time for this meta to come back up though, about 35 seconds, still a pretty big window. Lotus Orb reflects the sun onto King R, and be down to about half HP, but the four staff train is in full effect. They're completely blind, they see Arteezy, they see Puppy, who do they go for? It's Puppy, Echo Slam used right away, but Pylite Eyes there, cold embrace, resets things that might cost Pi his life, and it will. Up on the high ground, Arteezy and Scandal are going at it, but Ramsey's isolated by himself. Winter Wyvern will buy back. It's a 5v5 on the field. Boba. Secret starting to swap. He's trying to TP home. There's the swap. It won't happen. Through the BKB, they should be able to bring him down. They'll lose the Earth Spirit. It's a die back there. But they do get the high price kill on Bulba. Now Puppy stunned up by the Fissure. They're going to continue to pursue that pesky Ghost Scepter again, buying him some time. Ramsey's now in the fray. They should be able to bring Puppy down this time. The right clicks are really adding up. 
In comes Pylai Die. Oh, that winner's curse. Scandal feeling the pain of the Terror Blade. It's not going to be enough. Deny, hey. Deny, actually. That's I thought awkward. They that. Well, apparently not. Arteezy comes in, helps secure the kill. Now buyback to plenty. The Dark Seer, as well as the uh, Axe, have bought back into the game. Empire have used all the buybacks they have. Their two supports are going to be in the grave for about 50 seconds. And now Ramsey isolated outside of the base. He's still got his metamorphosis is on, but he's taking big damage. Can he get off of Thunder here? He's got it. And no, it gets loaded sword. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. He's in big trouble now. Low HP Berserker's call. They're finally going to bring him down. He's got the buyback. He'll use it instantly. Secret with all five still alive. Should be able to bring down Afterlife After also. He does not have a buyback. That's three in the grave permanently for at least the next 20, 30 seconds. Maybe they can hold this. He's going to refresh. He's going to pick up his BOTs again. Mid lane of Barracks will get cleaned up, but they don't even care at this point. It's all about the heroes. So many buybacks on cooldown. If somehow they manage to wipe C, oh use boy. the refresher. Oh boy. Oh boy. This, oh this no. This might be game losing. They what a good play from Arteezy. He forced Empire to panic, knowing his limits. Big play right there. This is... This is looking it. Ramsey's you can tell, he's like, we it. have to do something, guys. This is my metamorphosis, the last one for 100 seconds. Now Arteezy goes back in, gets a bash straight away. Ramsey's will be all right, at least for now. Secret kind of spread about, but they are ready to take this fight if Empire want to commit for it. Arteezy, the target of choice for now, but Envy pops the Elder Dragon form. Arteezy just trying to split it up. They're going to focus on King R. Puppy and Envy going on the back line. Ramsey's getting low. There's the... Uh, Curse. They panic, but the curse on the scandal. Another great back wall from Bulba. They bring down the Venge, the Razor. Ramsey stays alive for now. He still has the Thunder. He could still it's potentially over. hold it, but it's looking grim. That's a dieback for him, a dieback for the Razor. And as soon as Afterlife falls, we should be expecting the GG. There it is. After 75 minutes, Secret take the win, 38 to 18. Oh my, Empire, so make him work for it. What a match. Great stuff for Secret though, they are guaranteed now up in the top four, safe and sound, safe from those bottom tiebreakers, Empire, hearts broken to come this far and not make it into the playoffs for the TI6 qualifiers. Oh, and they were up two sets of racks in the mid lane, in the bottom lane, it just goes back to show that like one team fight where Secret were able to hold on and they stole the roach from them and they were able to procrastinate the game for another 15 minutes.